All right, are you ready for another adventure? We're heading to PA to National Limestone Quarry. Mr. Eric, the owner, has given Central PA Rock and Mineral Club a special invite. Anyway, we're going for fluorite, calcite, wavelite, that pretty green stuff, and uh, quartz crystals, or actually calcite crystals, um, and maybe some fossils. This isn't going to be a fossil hunting trip for me, but I will look for a little bit. Um, anyway, let's get ready. Tomorrow morning, it's go time. They're calling for rain, but I think we can, uh, you know, do a little praying and maybe the rain won't come. So we'll see. Either way, I like wet rocks, so who cares? All right, let's go. Anyway, you're rock hounding with Joe. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find. Here's Andy. All right, so far we found some nice fluorite and calcite. There's I'm sure there's more back here. I'm gonna go see if I can get some really chunky fluorite. This is thin, but there's some nice gem quality in there. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of down in here. So let's see if we can. Oh. See if we can get some good footage of this. All right, here we are. We found some more fluorite. It's actually in the limestone, which is pretty cool. Instead of being in the calcite. Calcite's okay, but I like a variety. Anyway, we have a whole bag full of rocks. It's getting heavy. We're getting ready to get out of here soon. So I'm gonna go look for some more specimens and uh, hopefully we can find something good. Um, so far, so good, so far. Good. <laughs> All right, out of here.
Alrighty, that's it for this site. We're getting ready to head over to another quarry, Mount Pleasant Hills, and look for wave light and some dog tooth calcite crystals. Hopefully I'll find some. Well, until the next time, let's get on out of here. It's time to go have some more fun. Oh yeah, let's take this off. and then we'll meet up with the other club members from the uh, Central PA Rock and Mineral Club. We got a little bit of a dip. Easy does it. Oh yeah. Four wheeling baby. Alrighty. So this is the main pit. Uh, there's calcite, strontianite, celestine down there, and then the wave light pit is up there around the corner. Okay. So, Can we drive up to that? Yeah, but you're gonna need to park over there and then, and then walk, walk back up. the the okay the thing. So Alrighty. Yeah. There's Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Good luck. Oh yeah. Good. Same to you. Yep. <laughs> Heading up to the. The way the light is, we have to park up here and then we'll walk the rest of the trail up. Uh, I can see where you can get lost back in here. But I don't mind getting lost in the water. How nice. Say so we found some wave light. That's not wave of light. That is wave of light. That's how you do it. 
find the cracks. All right, so we just left that little spot. It's a lot of small wave of light um, crystals. And uh, Pete said that there's actually some bigger specimens up at this other pit. It's about a three minute walk. But we're gonna walk up and see, see what it's all about. I don't know if we'll find anything, but let's go. Not much there. I got did get some quartz druzy with a little bit of calcite in the limestone. So yeah, that's pretty good. At least it wasn't a wasted trip. Back there, that's the uh, second wave of light pit. Uh, next time, hopefully we'll find bigger balls. I don't think it's going to happen this time, but at least we got some nice little specimens. Well. If we have enough time, I'm going to head down to the main pit. Let's see what goodies we can find down there. All right. Looks like some people have been in the woods here. I don't know what that is up there. I might have to check it out. All right, gotta go. Okay, we're heading down to the main pit. Let's see if we can have any luck. So it was a great day at both quarries and we're wrapping this up and until the next time turned out to be a beautiful day let's get home and take a look at these samples all right people we're here at the house <coughs> thermosel because mosquitoes are terrible around here anyway we have three buckets one there one there and one here so we're starting to clean up this wave of light and see some samples came out pretty good they still need some iron out or um, <clears throat> yeah something to clean it I'm gonna do a little research because I don't want to mess these specimens up I mean, some of them are pretty nice and I would hate to mess that up <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of little balls on there. Some of these I still need to process to try to get them open. I can see some nice little balls inside there, so I'm going to carefully open that up. Same thing with this one. I know you're in there. I just need to open it up carefully so I don't ruin I don't want to ruin it. Mm. 
<clears throat> didn't really do much fossil hunting today, but there you go. I did find one. I thought this, uh, limestone settlement looks pretty good. I like that marbly look, which is pretty cool. But yep, there's a fossil. Perhaps the next time I go there, I will do more fossil hunting. <clears throat> there's one on there and a couple little protrudal balls. Some of this I just <clears throat> collected because I wanted to see what the actual rock this was pretty green doesn't look green on the uh, video but it's pretty green it's also wet i think i already showed you this one but i do like that that's going to come out really nice i think that's going to be my prime sample I've got a couple small ones. Uh, yeah, I still have to clean this. <clears throat> and I'm not sure what's going to... Oh, wait a minute. Those are a little bit bigger. being in the shade doesn't show the color but to the naked eye this all looks green you can see on the video it looks almost translucent this guy here I'm not sure what's going on with that but I want to bring it home anyway to see what was going on with this Feels like all sand. I guess this just, this here just formed in between like veins. Who knows? <coughs> anyway, we did get some more fluorite. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Oh, and the air conditioner kicks on. I thought this was really cool because it's right on the limestone. kind of runs in the vein of calcite that's within the limestone but I'll wait till I pull some of that out I'll show you that later all right let's get to cleaning again all right now it's time to do some cleaning time with this one and let's see I did scrub this with a little bit of soap and water and I see absolutely no difference between the either sides so power washing got all the sand grit and dirt out of that which I can see I'm right down to the sandstone that's on top of the um, limestone Anyway, I guess to get that out, we might, I might try a little iron out on a smaller sample and, uh, before I hit this, because I do not want to mess this up or any of my other good pieces. Alrighty, All right, let's get back to uh, cleaning and sorting.
Thank you for joining me today at the quarry. We had such a great time. We found some really good samples. Um, oh my God, the fluorite, the wavelite, the calcite, multiple colors of calcite. Couldn't ask for more. I appreciate Central PA Rock and Mineral Club for the invite. Um, them guys are a blast. Everybody I met was so wonderful. Great conversation. I think everybody found some good specimens. Anyway, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you like my content, if you like seeing what I'm up to, please subscribe. That way you can get some notifications. Share my site with everybody. I need subscribers. Anyway, thanks for joining me and till the next adventure, you never know where we're going to go. All right. Thank you. Bye.